Welcome to Let's Fly VFI and we're back with our video finally and some new toys as well. We've been now doing a bit of shopping and uh, we're now going to be supporting a 1060 6 gigabyte with a Ryzen 5 2600. Put that on a uh, Asus 450B motherboard and uh, we've also got a new, new joystick, the new Logitech and coupled that with a bit of, bit of Corsair RAM as well, some 2400 stuff. So really looking forward to showing you how this goes if you have a budget system or you're looking for a budget to mid-range system this is, seems to be a really good balance so let's have a look so here we are in the Cessna taking a bit of a fly around my local airport soon to be returning guys I will be out there hopefully it still might be a couple of months before I get started because I've still got lots to do here but uh, this has proven to be such a great upgrade the system is now running basically 30 FPS anywhere I go. Um, I've got another couple of videos coming up for um, well, you chopper heads. We're going to do a bit of, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try and do a bit of flying um, and you'll see what the results of that are like. Um, but this has been really really good. It's, it's brought the realism up a great deal more I think because it feels fluid and it moves. That 30 FPS is uh, such a good level um, in X-Plane, you know, and they do just say it's 25 to 30 is uh, where it needs to be. Now this is running at 4K, well the 4K DSR, okay, it's not running true 4K, but I'm using the 4K DSR from NVIDIA, and um, I think it runs really well. I've had a couple of discussions on Reddit with a couple of guys, um, uh, you guys if you happen to be watching and you're out there, uh, great to have a chat with you, um, they're, they're uh, subscribers I believe, so really great to chat to everybody that's I do like it so feel free to send me messages ask me questions if you like and I'll do my best to uh, answer all that you might just see a little bit of um, jit jitteriness here it happens a little and what I did do um, and I'll, I'll just go over it again with uh, over it for you is in the Nvidia control panel I was playing around with a few different settings in there but one thing I did do is I try the antistrophic uh, filtering. I turned it on and I let it go for a while. And and when I turned it off, uh, and I did change it. I turned that off and I went to the anti-aliasing transparency. I turned that on as well. Um, so with the, with the filtering version, the antistrophic filtering turned off. It went smooth on me and I lost all that stutteriness. So that was really good. So it just pays to test things you know the system is strong enough to run X-Plane pretty well um, in some of the places where it's got a lot less scenery um, you know I'm seeing 50 and 60 FPS but here where it's it's got to work a little harder uh, it's certainly um, sitting right 2930 I don't see a drop even in close to the ground and uh, I'll show you close to the ground soon we'll do some more close to the ground stuff um, which would be a bit too close, I think you'll find, but um, now this just feels so much more realistic. And the uh, the joystick too, guys, I've got to make mention of this Logitech, Logitech um, Extreme 3D Pro. If you're looking for a new joystick, um, bloody nice. It is pretty good. I'm really happy with it. It just um, makes my old joystick that was you know dead and buried really probably quite a long time ago but I, I persisted with it. Um, it just, this thing just is beautiful. It's so smooth and precise. Um, just nice. The, the old wing when I had it was, uh, you know, it stopped its force feedback probably 12 months ago. So it was quite light in the hand and that made it hard. This has got that, that firmness that you're looking for, especially as you're flaring and trying to get that feel of that weight back um, as you're holding the nose up, as you're flying like this. And I've flown down, driven down that road quite a number of times. There was actually a couple of Jabberoos doing circuits today uh, out here at Gawler uh, as I was flying around and driving around up in, in Gawler myself today. So saw them on the highway. NVS just want to be back there having a bit of a fly. And so here we come in. We're just coming in again. Now this actually is not quite right. There are, I don't think there's any numbers actually. Hold that nose up and look down to the far end. Now let's do something a little different because we're always flying fixed wing. Let's crank the chopper up. This is a great little one. Um, 
thanks to Jonathan if you're out there watching for uh, putting me onto this one. This is a really nice chopper. Now I am, I'm bloody hopeless. I can't fly this thing to save my life. I know I've done one little flight out at um, Alan Burroughs previously. That went pretty well. Uh, and that was in the bigger chopper. But this one is a lot more sensitive. And the other thing I had to work out as well is these first few flights, I was still trying to work out my controls and the rudder, sorry, not the rudder, the, um, the collective, I'll try and get my terms right, uh, was reversed. So every time I tried to go up, I was going down. And when I was going down, I was going up and I was crashing. So uh, you got to be real careful with how you set those up. So let's give this a try and uh, see how we go. At this point, I still have my <laughs> my uh, throttles the wrong way around, I think. And you've got to be so, so careful. You can't just put a pile of uh, throttle into it and hope it to stay, to stay together because it doesn't. It must have just destroyed the engine or the shaft or something, but it just cacked itself and we hit the ground again. Uh. Crash number one. Let's have another go. Yeah, again, just too vicious on it. You've just got to move it so carefully and just keep an eye on the torque gauge over on the left-hand side there. I'm just trying to hover it a little bit, but it is pretty difficult. I just wanted it to stop, but I couldn't get it to stay still. And uh, then I just gave up and we were just moving over towards uh, Evanston here near Gawler. So head across the uh, the M2, across the nearby homes, and uh, head just into town a little bit. Now, take a little bit of a note of how much scenery, guys, and if you remember the early videos I did with the old system, it was pretty minor, pretty low level as far as uh, graphics and buildings and stuff, but now uh, I've got it up, as you would have seen uh, in the beginning, just one short of max there. My scenery textures are one short of max. Um, there's no, I think might have been one little bit of anti aliasing in there. And we're running again at the uh, the 4K DSR. So considering we're still getting probably around the 30, 30 FPS with everything happening, um, you got one happy little uh, YouTuber here, I gotta tell you. It's working really well. And you guys out there that are winching about having 1080s and not getting whatever you wanna get, um, my heart bleeds because I know I've chatted to a couple of you on, uh, I think it was on Reddit this week, guys talking about their 1080s and I'm going, well, I'm going to get a 1060, one's doing okay. Interesting to see how it would go with, uh, with VR, that's something I really, really want to get into, but it might have to wait a little while. So I'm getting around, just working on reducing the speed. You can see the speed indicator just next to the artificial horizon. So I'm just trying to get it to come back. And that's just done, it seems, by lifting your nose up and then balancing the throttle and the torque so that uh, it stops its forward movement. Now just trying gently to come down. Just looking to try and land around that intersection or on that green park land that's there. And, uh, well, we'll see how successful that is as we come in. I've got control of it pretty well. We've just got about, I reckon that's about 10 knots or so on there at the moment as we come in. Just trying to get that forward movement. You can use your rudders. You can just spin on your rudders, guys, if you haven't uh, had any chopper time. So we'll get it down and see how we go. Not doing too badly. The approach is not bad. And there we are. Little bounce, little bounce, second little bounce. Oop. Okay, touch and go. We're out of there. <laughs> Not hanging around to make it fall over. So we'll keep going. Let's see how we are. See if we can get back over to uh, to the airport over at Gawler. Y-G-A-W. If you're interested and you haven't visited there before. Now, I do have um, a lot of scenery in airports, guys, if you would like them. I have them freely available. I can just give you a link to them. It's from uh, Dropbox. And you can download all the airports that I've put together. No, they're not all fantastic, but there's a lot of places that I've done here around uh, South Australia uh, that didn't have any 3D uh, airport at all. There's no hangars, there's nothing. So um, I've added to some of those just to give you something to land at, which is good. 
well I think it's good anyway I'm pretty happy with it so let's uh, head back a bit let's see how we go on our next attempt so there's one crash one bounce slash touch and go we have another go see if we can do this one airspeed's good I think we're nearly going backwards oh that was a bit hard uh, that was a reset so there's two crashes and one bounce Okay, again, just trying to hold it level here. I'm going sideways. Uh, and this was a big mistake. Getting out of the cockpit and trying to do it from the outside. Um, uh, it's not going to end well, is it? It's worth a look just to see what happens, but that probably would have broke something in a, in a real bell. So, I'm going down. This is not... Uh, that hurt that hurt and that's going to hurt again but it was, it's a lot of fun a lot of fun so i'm going to be doing some more i'm going to work on my on my helicopter flying and stop killing myself so until next time visit letsflyvfr.com uh, you can pick up bits and pieces there if you like to guys if you're looking for a cpu or, a, or anything like that computer wise but until next time i will catch you back here at let's fly vfr thanks for your, thanks for your patience and coming back to watch guys thank you bye bye